He wants to sit on the rim instead, just shaking his butt. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I this is Danny, and at the moment, Danny doesn't have a home. So today, we're gonna be making Danny his very own terrarium. First step, you wanna grab you a cup or a container that's at least three times as tall as the mantis and twice as long, I believe. Next, I realized I forgot to add this in the first video where I was showing you how to make terrariums. But you wanna add a false bottom, not only to separate the substrate and the water, but also to help keep the humidity in the tank. So what you do is you just get some rocks or some river stones. I'm using these. Make sure to boil them and get all the pesticides or any chemicals that may be on it off of it. You just put them at the bottom of the cup. Once you have your false bottom set up, what you wanna do is you wanna add a layer that'll separate the substrate and the false bottom. Now, if you're like me and you don't have mesh just sitting around your house, get a paper bag. You want to cut it into a circle. You can really cut it into any shape. That's like the size of the bottom of your container, but I'm using a cup, so I just cut into a circle that fits there. What you want to do is some poke some holes in it. That way, when the water evaporates, it won't just like stick to the plastic. It'll go up and make the whole tank more humid. Once you've poked out a little holes in your plastic bag or your your plastic cutout, you want to get your cup, see right right on top of the rocks, you just lay it flat, and boom, there you go. You got a barrier in between your substrate and your rock. Next, you want to grab some cocoa husk. I got my cocoa husk mixed with a little bit of sphagnum moss, but some normal cocoa husk would do. And just put it right on top of the plastic. Praying mantids don't really like to burrow much, so you don't have to worry about making it deep. Just like... Make it to where they have something to stand on while they're in it because you still need some room for the praying mantis to hang upside down for when it molts and whatnot. Okay, yeah, that barrier worked mostly good. Now, this is just a personal preference. I'm sure you've probably seen it in every single one of the terrariums I've set up. I like to just add a little bit of bamboo to all the um, to all the terrariums. Not to mention, it gives the it gives the mantis something to climb on and hold on to when it molts. So you should probably put something in there. Even if it's just like some twig, make sure nothing on it, no no hitchhiking bugs or anything. Normal little plant and stick it right in the dirt and there you go. I'm gonna put a few more in there just so that this thing has somewhere to climb at all times. I think I might keep some of the leaves on this one. All right, once you got your twigs or your sticks or bamboo like me in there, what you wanna do? Well, what I like to do personally, just to add the, give the thing some color. I just like to add some sheet moss to it Make sure to rinse the sheet moss off really well with some purified or distilled water before you put it in. But yeah, you just grab some of this and just stick it in there right in the dirt. And it'll actually support some of your some of your branches. Like if you see your twigs aren't aren't standing up too well on their own, you can just kind of put the moss around it and you kind of solve that problem. Alright, once you got all your moss in there, what you want to do is just mist it down real nice and good. That will be plenty of humid if your mantis needs to moat. And you don't even gotta worry about any excess water because all the excess water is gonna drip right down to your false bottom because all the extra water is gonna drip right down to your false bottom. And we won't have to worry about sitting and mixing with the substrate or getting real soggy. You'll just hold the water there and continually release it from the bottom to keep the whole enclosure nice and humid. After you complete all that, your mantis enclosure will be complete. This is how mine's came out. Go ahead, follow us on our Instagram and send us a picture of how yours came out. Now let's see if Danny likes it. All right, so this is Danny. You probably met him in the last video and this enclosure is for him. Let's see. Okay, he's climbing in there. Uh, he, <laughs> he wants to sit on the rim instead. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me wanna dribble dribble. One vital step I almost forgot, your cup does, your container does have to have some type of top. Um, should be ventilated, that way, you know, your mantis can have air and breathe. Well, duh. A lot of times the mantis will have trouble clinging onto certain materials. Just get a paper towel or a piece of mesh like this. I don't know if you can see it. If your tank is small enough. For me, 
I'm gonna use a paper towel see just like that just a paper towel now I do have to let you know this isn't the only way to set up an enclosure for praying mantis especially one of this size instead of doing all this you can really just grab a paper towel 32 ounce or 16 ounce cup put paper towel at the bottom of it soak it you'll be good to go I just like how this looks more regardless of which method you use if this video helped you out at all, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can see the next one. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you.